<laughs> it's me, Tuesday, and I am here to unbox with you the two new um, beauty boxes from Target. Yes, not one, but two. I'm really excited. Um, I picked up both of them, which is kind of a... Sometimes it's a hard thing to do because if you are not familiar with the Target Beauty Box, it comes out usually on the first of the month and it's a first come first served. It's not like Ipsy or one of these other subscription boxes where you pay to make sure that you know you get your hands on that month's box. You just kind of have to take your chances. And so there's some months I miss them or some months I don't get um, all the boxes they have because on some months they have like two boxes. But I was lucky enough to get both boxes, and I am going to unbox them with you right now. All right, let's get to it. All right, so this is the first box here. <laughs> All right, um, let's see what it says on the inside. There is always a little card here with, um, you know, just a little intro to the box. And this one says, hello, new leaf. It's time to refresh, recharge, and refine. Inside this box, you'll find a few of our faves that are sure to give you a beauty boost this fall. Try them out, and if you love them as much as we do, find the full-size version at target.com slash beauty box. And then on the back is a list of all of the products that are in the box and a little description. And then there's usually a coupon for a future purchase. And this one is a $3 off beauty purchase of $15 or more. And it's not limited to just what's in this box. You can use this coupon on any beauty products at Target. All right, so let's dive in here. Pull the tissue back. It's got this pretty orange tissue for the fall. All right, so the first thing in here is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula uh, Daily Skin Therapy Lotion. I've actually used this before, and um, it's really great. Um, it's not my, you know, end-all favorite lotion. I have um, other lotions I prefer, but this one's pretty good. I will probably throw this one in my car because I always like to have lotion on hand for when I'm out and about, um, but I'm looking forward to that. Um, next up is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. I've also used this. This is a cult favorite. Um, most people know about the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. I love this on the body. I think that it's um, it's it's a really great exfoliator. If you are not into, or if you're cautious about scrubs that have like um, the like really grainy particles, this can be a little bit rough. But I find it to be okay for skin. I would never use this on my face. It would just, I feel like it would just rip my skin apart. But for a body scrub, it's its pretty good. So I'll have fun with that. Um, the next thing in here is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. If you're not familiar with the Curls brand, I know it from watching women who have natural hair on YouTube. Um... It's just meant for girls with curls, whether you're you're wearing your hair natural or if you are um, of some other ethnicity and have curly hair, um, the curl hair curls products are for you. I don't have, um, I don't wear my hair curly. It's naturally curly, but um, I do use products like this in. Um, like on a regular basis when I shampoo, I always put in a leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to give this a shot and see, you know, what it does for my hair, even though usually most of the time I, um, I do go ahead and, you know, straighten it and then just like take a curling wand to curl it. But we'll see how that works out. Here is a brand that I love. This is the Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Almond Milk um, Shampoo and then the Blowout Cream. So this is the shampoo and this is the Blowout Cream. I used to be a really big fan of Shea Moisture. I've kind of backed off a little bit on um, using their products because I think they've changed the formulas and so I just was not as in love. But I'm willing to give these a shot and um, see how they work out. Maybe there's something here that I love. Uh, let's see, one of the things I'm looking for right now is to see if there's coconut oil in the product and there's not really a full ingredient list here. Um, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sensitive to coconut oil, so I try to avoid those products, which can be really hard these days since it's in everything. This other product is also a hair product. This is the Curls Unleashed Shea Butter and Honey Curl Defining Cream. Um, it's a moisturizing curl definition for naturals. Again, another product um, 
designed for women with natural hair. I, again, don't wear my hair natural. I wear it relaxed, and that's just a choice I've made. But I think I will pass this along to my mother, who does wear her hair natural. So, um, yeah, that looks like it could be really great. It's got shea butter and honey and adds to curl definition and elongation. I could see anybody with curls really actually using this. If you are a curly hair girl, this might be a product for you. Okay, next in this box is the Chapstick Total Hydration 3-in-1 Lip Care. It's in the flavor Blood Orange and is non-tinted, so it sounds like it's going to be clear. But this is great. It arrives just in time for me. I was in need of a new chapstick, and so I am excited to give this a try. It says it moisturizes, renews, and transforms. Um, and again, I'm just taking a quick look at the ingredient list, and I don't see coconut oil in here, so I think we're safe. All right. The last, oh, this is cute. So cute. Okay, the last item in here is the Pretty Animals by Lookout Beauty. It's a panda calming sheet mask. Mask. It contains honey extract, lavender flower water, and camilla extract. Look at that. I think it's like an actual panda on the sheet mask. So if you've ever used a sheet mask before, essentially it's like a big piece of paper that's wet <laughs> and you stick it on your face and then let it do its thing and then you take it off and you look kind of crazy wearing it but it's it's effective but this one looks like it actually looks like a panda mask I can't wait to try this out um if you follow me on Instagram I will do an insta story with this panda mask <laughs> just so everybody can see it and uh, for anybody who doesn't know my Instagram handle is at from Tuesday. That's F-R-O-M-T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Um, all right, so another sip of my refreshing beverage here before we dive into the next box. That was fun. I'm looking forward to these products. All right, so that's that. Let's move on to the next thing here. Next box. Let's see. Again, we have the packaging. I think it's the same as before. Yes, so we'll skip that. This one has a burgundy paper. Again, really pretty color for fall. All right, let's see what's in here. Looks like there is some Sensodyne Pro Enamel Strong and Bright Enamel Toothpaste. It's a new product. I have used Sensodyne toothpaste before um, for sensitive teeth. I try to limit the amount of time that I um, use, use it because I am sensitive to certain products on my skin, on my mouth, on my scalp. So um, that's one of the products that my mouth is a little weird about. So I use it usually long enough to take down on some of that sensitivity in my mouth and then I move back on to my regular products. This is the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. I have repurchased this product, I don't know, a lot of times because I really love it. I use this in conjunction with um, the Dove Exfoliating Body Wash and these two together make my skin so soft. And then I put on my regular body lotion if, um, if I'm going to be like gone all day. But really the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion is moisturizing enough on its own that you can go without body lotion. So if I forget to put on body lotion or if I skip the body lotion because I'm just like hanging out of the house or whatever, you won't feel dry. You'll just feel perfectly moisturized and just lovely. So I recommend that. Okay, let's see what else is in here. I have the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm, the antioxidant super moisturizer. That sounds intense. <laughs> All right, but it's a face, facial moisturizer, I believe. Oops. All right. And there's a little here in the cap, so I'm going to, so I'll show you. It's like a, it's like a gel almost. And I'm just going to put some on my hands, which actually they really need some moisturizer right now. So I'll probably soak this right up. Yeah, you can see how, you can see, first of all, you can see how dry my hands are right now. But you can also see um, how moisturizing this is. And it just rubs right in and it feels really good. It's nice and cool. And... Yeah, I think my face is going to like that. I have, um, 
I always used to think I had really oily skin, but then what I figured out was actually I wasn't moisturizing it sufficiently, and by actually putting more, more moisture into my skin, I actually cut down on the oiliness. Go figure. So, um, that being said, I do still have kind of oily skin, but it's much more under control than it ever was when I was younger. <laughs> Secrets you learn as you grow up, right? <laughs> All right, here's a brand that I um, have come to love. It's called Acure, and I hope this is coming out, like, I hope these products are coming out, like, straight to you. They're not coming out backwards. Whatever. Anyways, it's called, it's by Acure, and this is the Ultra Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. <laughs> um, I love Acure because they have a heart for the planet, um, which I love, and they have a great ingredient list, uh, mostly things that I can pronounce, which is awesome. Great for people who have sensitive skin like myself, um, and there's no co coconut oil in them usually, so I really love this brand. I've used the face wash, and I've used the facial scrub, so I'm excited to try the shampoo and conditioner. All right, here's another product that I love. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin Micellar cleansing water. Um, I love this stuff because it just just gets everything off really quickly. When I, I don't really have time to get every you know to be messing with lots of cleansers and stuff. Um, I use this at night to take off all my like eye makeup. I use it to just remove all the like residue off my face. If I'm not too tired, I'll follow up with like a full on you know washing of the face and etc cetera, etc cetera. if not then this is at least sufficient to get most of the grime and the dirt off my face if I don't do a full cleaning at night then I will follow up with um, more of this in the morning just to get off whatever you know my face wash doesn't get off and I feel like I have really clean skin this is probably one of the um, less expensive micellar waters. It's on the lower end of as far as price point goes, but I find it to be the one that I keep coming back to. I've tried some more expensive micellar waters, not like the super high end, but kind of mid-range, and I still love this one more than the rest. So, good product here. And for your micellar water, they have very lovingly included two premium cotton rounds. It's by the Target Up and Up brand. I've used these as well. These are pretty good because they don't shed. Unlike their regular cotton rounds, which shed terribly bad, like really, really bad, where I almost didn't finish the package, these don't shed as badly as the others. So if you get cotton rounds from Target, always get the premium ones and not the crappy whatever ones. Okay, and then I have the CoverGirl Cover Girl Total Tease Mascara. And I'm going to open this because, one, I don't have mascara on. And two, because I would like to see the brush inside. I always like to check out the brushes, and I hate when mascara is packaged where I can't see the brush, brush and this one happens to be packaged just like that. Um, but this is the packaging that I've now ripped up. It is for full, long, refined, sexy, teased lashes. Use the lash brush to amplify volume from root to tip for full fanned out effect. Dark, defined lashes that last all day. And this is in very black, so here we go. It's supposed to remove easily with soap and water. Blah, 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 blah. All right, here we go. And it's by CoverGirl. And I've actually never really been a fan of CoverGirl mascaras. I know everybody loves the, like, um, I think it's CoverGirl Great Lash that comes in that pink and green tube. I hate that stuff. Am I the only one? Anyways, all right, let's do this. Um, so here's the wand, just so you can see that. And it's got kind of a weird end here. This, I don't know what's going on here. Well, that's mascara there. But, um... Yeah, what this is. I think this point is supposed to be to help define lashes. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. La 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 la. Usually I would like, you know, curl my lashes first, but yeah, we're not going through all that. And then 
I would also have like a full scale mirror instead of like trying to put it on in my video camera, but hey. Live a little, right? <laughs> Alright. So there's one coat. Actually, I can tell the difference between um this side with the mascara and the other side that doesn't. One more coat. Yeah, I can see how long and defined they are. And obviously I'm doing this without like a full on mirror, so forgive me if it turns out like not as, I don't know, whatever as it might be. Like, usually I'd have my lash brush and all that kind of stuff, so I'd make sure every, like, thing was all separated and whatever. But look, look at the difference between my eyelashes. Like, look at this side versus this side with nothing. It's dramatic, isn't it? That's craziness. Holy cow. All right. Well, that's the Total Tease Mascara. And I'm going to just leave it like that for a minute because we're at the end of this video pretty much, right? Right. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed unboxing with me. Um, if you did, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more, I hope that you would subscribe. And if you would like to see more videos of me doing this, um, you can check out some of my other videos that I've posted before. I like to unbox Stitch Fix and other beauty boxes. So you'll be catching more of that as we go. Until the next time we get together, cheers, and I'll see you later. Bye.